Seagrasses provide a bunch of different services for bivalves. They provide substrate, they provide shelter from predation for bivalves. And then vice versa, bivalves can fertilize the sediment, which allows seagrass to grow faster. They also stabilize the sediment and they can protect against disturbances like storms or high currents and things like that. For seagrass, we can say it is a swimming restaurant for a lot of myofauna and it is a swimming nursery for a lot of fishes. In the absence of the water, it is accommodating a lot of myofauna and the myoflora. When it is submerged, then it is hosting a lot of another organism. We are looking at the connectivity between seagrass and coral reef ecosystems. There's, there's a, a few fish that travels between the, these two habitats in our area. And we also found that most of the juveniles, the juvenile fish, is to be found in the seagrass beds. And uh, the adult ones are in the coral reef ecosystems.